You know, my dad just took me to hockey practice and music lessons. Back with more strange intersections between rock and sex in just a second. More of the secret history of rock coming up. Let's get back to the secret history of rock with Alan Cross. We're spending this portion of the program looking at strange sex stories from the world of alt-rock. And don't try to pretend that you're not interested because you know you are. If you're a fan of Duran Duran, you'll know the name Warren Cucurullo. From 1986 through 2001, he was a member of Duran Duran, and before that he was a member of an L.A. group called Missing Persons. And then before that, he was part of Frank Zappa's band. Let's start there. Warren is name-checked four times on the Joe's Garage album. He's mentioned in the song Catholic Girls, as well as in Crew Slut. And that's him buying the leather cap and trousers in Cyborg. In 1980, he became part of Missing Persons, who had several new wave hits that made them an MTV staple for a while. The singer of that band was Dale Bozio, and she wasn't very shy at all. In fact, there were several occasions where she did total nude photo shoots, at least two of which were for Hustler in 1979 and 1980. Warren didn't have any trouble with any of this. In fact, he took his own plunge into porn in 2000 when he showed up in a gay Brazilian magazine. In July of 2001, he rebuilt his fan website, which, uh, shall we say, was not suitable for the workplace. Later that year, he started selling a, uh, a, a sexual aid based on himself. It was called the Rock Rod. Warren's out of the adult business these days and back into music. He also owns a couple of restaurants in L.A., and he's very much into 9-11 conspiracy theories. But I just wanted to leave these thoughts with middle-era Duran Duran fans and people who might remember Missing Persons and songs like this. You're most welcome. <laughs> 